Joe Anderson. Joe Anderson, a slave who belonged to the Size McCormick family, is rightly considered co-inventor of the famous Reaper, which revolutionized American agriculture. Anderson was born in 1808 at the McCormick farm, and Cyrus was born one year later in 1809. Robert, Cyrus's father, then gave Anderson to Cyrus at a young age, and the two grew up together. Cutting wheat in those days was slow, difficult, and labor-intensive. Workers had to walk and cut the stalks with seeds, and laborers, also called binders, walking behind them, gathered and tied the stalks into sheaves. Robert McCormick tackled the task of designing the reaper head-on, but his first prototypes were problematic at best. His son, Cyrus, would 25 years later improve the machine, then in 1846 began to mass-produce it in Chicago at what would become International Harvester. McCormick's descendants and numerous historians, however, recognize Anderson as a major contributor to the design and creation of the device, and even insisted at his first demonstration in July 1831. On the big day, witnesses watched as a horse pulled the machine that sheared a wide path of grain. Anderson walked beside it, raking the cut stalks off the machine's bed onto the ground and ready to bind stack. The two men continued to make improvements until 1834 when the patent was issued under McCormick's name. Joe Anderson was freed by McCormick sometime before the Civil War, but since he could not live as a free man in Virginia, he remained at Walnut Grove and was hired out to neighbors for about $60 per year, which McCormick reportedly paid back to him until his death sometime around 1888.